And so for the next hour, hour and a quarter, we're going to look at ways to pull these reports because this is the stuff that you need. Except that reports are boring and it's 9.30 in the morning and no one's had enough caffeine yet. So let's reposition this. This is questions that you need to ask of analytics. Questions that you need to have about how is your website performing to help you reach the business goals. This is not about data and geeky stuff. This is about your business growth profit. Are we all good so far? Beautiful. First question you're probably going to ask yourself is, how do people find me? Simple enough. So you're going to go to your audience. So remember you had the four things down the left hand side. The top one was audience, traffic sources, sources and all traffic. This is the report you're looking at to answer that question. And you're going to get a table that looks much like that. So what am I looking for? Am I going to be alright if I wander around age? What am I looking for on here? Obviously at a top level I want to know how many visits? How many pages do they visit each time? Well, it's not a great metric, it's not a great number to look at, but at least it gives me a comparison of the different sources of my traffic. How long are they hanging around on the site for? How many of them are new? And how many bounce straight off? Everyone's familiar with bounce rate. Someone comes to your site, if they bounce straight off, it's a one page visit. They look at one page, uh, I'm in the wrong place, and they bounce straight off. Everybody always asks me, what is a good bounce rate? What's a bad bounce rate? There really is no such thing as a good or bad number. Um, I've seen very successful websites with a bounce rate of 80%. I've seen websites that suck with a website of a bounce rate of 20%. It's really what it does for you and how that number changes over time as you improve your website. If you had to press me, um, I would say somewhere between 20 and 50% is pretty normal. Which is pretty amazing when you think about it. If 40-50% of people are landing on your website only looking at one page and bouncing straight off. Let's try and improve that number. Let's try and look at, as we go through the reports, well, where are they landing? What are they doing next? How can I improve that? One of the ways I always like to change this report, so coming back to my little choices up the top here, is that second one in, the little pie chart symbol, that will turn your report into the pie chart, but importantly give you the percentages. So if I'm trying to get a quick overview and I don't feel like doing maths in my head, I find that report much more useful. So I can quickly understand where it's traffic coming from. You'll see a lot of these grey boxes, that's obviously just a blank out data that I don't want to show. My revenue reports, I'm going to use a lot. And just again, that e-commerce tab at the top. So I'm digging deeper into the metrics, understanding where my traffic's coming from. Your trend over time with this traffic, that's probably be a pretty key one for you. So at the top here, well, we've got day, week and month. Changing that view to weekly or if you're looking at a long time frame monthly, that's going to make your data much easier to understand. Change it from that to that, it's much easier to see a trend. And have I shown this? Yes, I have. A fairly new feature in analytics, which I really like, is you can now put ticks in the boxes next to each of these dimensions. Hit the little plot rows button. And then actually plot that on the screen. So much easier to see trends within this mass of data. I really like this feature, particularly when you've got something in here that's a little bit non-standard. You've got sort of this line that you haven't seen before. Just by simply graphing it, you'll see it sort of tracks along at nothing and then there's this big spike in one week or one month and then it goes back to nothing. That's the clue you're looking for to dig deeper into that little time frame, what happened then. I guess really that's your job here. It's, you've got to put your investigator hat on and try and figure out why this is happening. This is only going to tell you what's happened. Your job is to figure out the why and then to take the action based on that. Mm -hmm.